Imagine a future so distant that it sounds like science fiction, a time when Earth is no longer habitable, not because of war or pollution, but because our own sun has turned against us. A supercomputer has just calculated the countdown to the extinction of all life on Earth. The date? Year 1000, 1000, 2000, 2021. That's not a typo. Stick around, because this revelation isn't just about the end. It's about the astonishing journey our planet will take to get there. In a groundbreaking collaboration, scientists from NASA and Japan's University of Toho have employed one of the world's most advanced supercomputers to model the far future of Earth. Their goal was as chilling as it was ambitious. Determine the exact moment when life on Earth will cease to exist. Their conclusion? The year 1000 2000, 1021. Over one billion years from now, our sun will have increased in brightness and heat to such an extent that Earth's environment will be rendered completely uninhabitable, even to the hardiest of extremophiles. It may sound distant and irrelevant to us now, but the journey to that end is lined with stages of deterioration that could begin affecting life much sooner than anticipated. To reach these conclusions, researchers input thousands of variables into the supercomputer, including data on solar evolution, atmospheric chemistry, tectonic activity, and the biological resilience of life. The result was a detailed timeline of Earth's demise, showing that our planet's life-supporting qualities will deteriorate long before the final extinction. The Sun, our lifeline, and our doom. The Sun is a G-type main-sequence star, G2V currently about 4.6 billion years old. It's roughly halfway through its life cycle. As it ages, its core contracts, causing the outer layers to expand and its energy output to increase. This is a normal part of stellar evolution, but it carries dire consequences for Earth. Over the next billion years, the sun's increasing luminosity will gradually raise Earth's temperatures. Scientists estimate that in about 500 million years, carbon dioxide levels will fall so low due to chemical weathering that plants will begin to die off. Without plant life, oxygen production will plummet, leading to a cascade of extinctions. Microbial life may persist in isolated pockets, but complex multicellular organisms, including humans, will find survival impossible. Eventually, Earth will resemble present-day Venus, hot, dry, and lifeless. Surface temperatures will exceed the boiling point of water and the oceans will evaporate into space. The atmosphere will become a toxic